guys. So here I am today at 315 Cali Pablo in San Clemente. This is a great four bedroom, two bath house. What's cool about it is it sits on over 8,800 square feet of a lot size. It's 2,056 square feet itself. You can see the garage over here. It's got a nice little L-shaped driver with a little turnaround and a little patio area in the front. So I'm gonna give you a short little tour. Hope you guys love it. This is priced just right at 1.9. Come on down, guys. This is the first open this weekend, and I'm sure it's gonna be gone. So give me a call, text me, let me know. I'm here at 315 Calle Pueblo in San Clemente. I just told you guys about it from a friend of the house, and I'm here with a client that just walked out the door. Come on and tell me what you think of this place. Holy oh, You gotta get in the camera, though. It is outstanding. Beautiful, just beautiful. I mean, it's, it's just that kitchen, the granite, the flooring, the wood, the large shower. Today we're overcast, so come on the game when you've got the sunshine. What do you he's, think of Steve, though? You know, oh, Steve as a realtor? Oh, he's this. He's, he's, he's you know, the top notch in this neighborhood. Top notch. Top he, dog. He knows everything about top it, and he's dog. run this neighborhood for how many years now? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 14 years. I get tired of <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys want to take a look at this property, like I said, it's going to be gone this weekend. Give me a call. Let me know what's going on so I can put you in touch with Steve. If you're looking for something else in this area, give me a call because Steve can find it. This is his place. And the cool thing about this place is you got a nice ocean view out of the back. You're overlooking the high school. So if you got kids that got to go to high school, this is really cool. You got all the shopping. You got the outlet malls. The beach is basically very walking low distance. HOA. Very, very low HOA. And you don't hear low HOA very much anymore. So let me know. Thanks, guys. Just got a little information from Pam, which is really cool. She gave us a nice little vibe of what she thinks of Steve and the house. And uh, she actually lives not too far up the street here. Uh, Steve actually had sold her a home not too long ago and they stayed in touch. And that's the type of realtor he is because as you know, it's about relationships. It's not about the transaction. I told you that there's a little courtyard. You can see it here. So you walk through the gate, you come into the courtyard here. You go back around the house, a little nice little patio area, which is nice and shaded for some of those hot, warm, uh, sunny days. And it also, which is cool, is your kitchen's right over here off this window you don't see in the picture frame. But you can serve through here, pull it through, and do a little outdoor dining and have a great time. So I'll go ahead and do the inside. So behind me here is the casual living room that would come through, and I'll walk you into here in a minute. Which goes straight back through here and your kitchen is on the side and then that is the entryway I talked about where it has a nice little patio with a dining table. As you look back over here, we're now looking at the reserves, North Reserves. That is the outlet and then Ocean would be all through here because you're looking back toward Dana Point at that position, you know, which sticks out, obviously Dana Point. Uh, behind me in this photo here, you're going to see the formal living area with a formal dining room behind and as you move down the patio here, to another set of doors is now the master retreat or the primary suite with a uh, walk-in large shower, dual vanities, and a walk-in closet, which is gorgeous. And again, man, check this view out. So uh, sunset, ocean views, beautiful sunsets, wine, it's all there. is because as you know it's about relationships it's not about the transaction and you don't hear low HOA very much anymore so let me know thanks guys first open this weekend and I'm sure it's gonna be gone so give me a call